here we have a right triangle with the altitude drawn in, and we need to find x and y. So the best way to approach this is to refer to our notes that we had in class, where we have a leg or a, the altitude. So in this case, back up here in this problem, we need to find x, which is the leg, um, in this circumstance, and then we have y, which is the altitude, which we can see right here. So let's look back um, at our problem. Let's do x first, which is the leg. So looking over here um, at our notes, we see that the leg is repeated on the top and the bottom there in both of the extremes position. And then in the means, we have the length number one right here, which is the length um, of the um, hypotenuse that's closest, the segment that's closest to the leg. Um, and then we have the entire hypotenuse. So we need to look at those two segments. So we're looking for a short segment of the hypotenuse and the entire one. So back over here, we're going to repeat x in a proportion. Okay, and then we're going to look for this small length over here and the larger actual hypotenuse. So we know that that is 14, so we can put that right here. But now we need to figure out what is this smaller length from this point over um, so we can do this segment is going to be 14 minus 8. So 14 minus 8 will be 6. Okay, so then we put 6 right here, and we can go ahead and cross multiply. We get x squared equals 6 times 14. Which is 84. And then we do the square root of both sides so that we can get x equals square root of 84. We look at our perfect squares. The biggest one that goes into it is um, 4 or 2 squared, which is 4. So square root of 4 times square root of 21. And then the square root of 4 is 2 times root 21. And that's our answer for x. Now we need to go back and look at y. So go, looking back at our notes, um, y is the altitude. Um, and so we're looking at repeating y um, in the extreme position and then looking at both segments of the hypotenuse. So we're not looking at the whole length here, we're just looking at the segments. Okay, so we can go back and we know that this segment right here is 6 and this one right here, it's already been labeled 8. So we just need to set up that proportion where we're repeating y in the extremes position and then throwing 6 and 8 in. We're going to cross multiply. We get y squared and then we cross multiply. Um, so 6 times 8 um, and we have you know, obviously 48. Okay, so then we do the square root of both sides. So we end up with y equals square root of 48. Well, I know I can um, divide that by 4 to get 12, but can I do a bigger one? Let's see. Um, let's see if I can do... And I can actually find a bigger perfect square that goes into 48, which is um, 16. So y equals square root of 16 times square root 3. So square root of 16 is 4, so I get 4 root 3, and that is my answer.